Welcome to The Nail Engineer and today we're going to be doing this zombie manicure inspired by my recent purchase of the Uber Chic Zombie Love Plate and I just wanted to do something with it that's a little bit different and recently I've been playing around a lot with the gel bottle ink builders in a bottle and it suddenly occurred to me one day um, that perhaps I could kind of build it up and make it look like a brain to get like a 3D effect. So um, to achieve this look, you will need um, builder in a bottle, rubber base coat, on top of which you'll be putting your French rubber builder number 20 and the fingers that are not brainy have got Madame Glam in Back to Cali over and all of the brain detailing and stamping is done in these three colours from Esmaldis to Kelly. Um, Naomi, who is a rich kind of maroon colour, like a, a dark red, which I find is perfect for a bit more of a gruesome and realistic kind of dried blood look. Um, and we've got Pinguino for the black and Topolino, which you may be thinking, mm, I don't see no grey but you will see that that is used for stamping this brain image onto the nail underneath the builder uh, base so that you can kind of follow loosely these lumpy bits. So first up, let's do our brain nail. And for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp um, straight onto the surface of the nail with grey stamping polish and yes you might think why not just do it in this colour and that's because I'm not going to be wanting to slavishly follow the pattern of the brain I just want it there as a guide underneath my polish and if I do the darker colour then it won't be possible to just ignore a few bits so there we go there, got that on and basically I'm just going to position it on the nail, press it on and roll off and you can see there that I've got a nice outline to trace over if it'll focus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put rubber base coat on that nail and the rest of the nails I'm going to get painted in back to Cali. So, I'll just do that off screen and then I'll come back for the brains. And now it's time for the making of the brains and this is, it's a bit fiddly but it's not as, as difficult as it looks and obviously I've done my, uh, I've painted with my non-dominant hand first so if I can do it on that hand I know I can do it on this one. So what you're doing is you're getting number 20 French rubber base or rubber builder from gel bottle ink and you take in a small brush and you get in a blob and you have to be patient with this you will not achieve the height in one go and what you need to do is just feather on a few lumps in a few places You've got to work relatively quickly before it kind of levels out and I just tend to not do the lumps next to each other so that they don't run into each other. So I'll do some lumps separate from each other and then I'll flash cure these for 20 seconds and then I'll come back and I'll do some in another area where they're again not next to each other. So I'll just do those few lumps and flash cure. So those are cured. If I can get it to focus, there we go. So we just go in again. And I'm not going to do all of this on camera because that would be a bit tedious. Um, but just so that you get the, the general gist of it and just be careful not to get too much and overload your brush at one go because less is more. You can always add to it but once you get a glue that's in the wrong place then that's it you can kind of 
faff with it a bit to fix it up but it's better to just do a little bit at a time and just build it and just so you can see what it looks like when you get another layer on I'll just do this one that's already cured and as you can see I'm just laying it on top to get that height and when I've finished building up basically these channels will be ready for detailing in and we'll have some nice lumpy bits so I'm just going to continue building this up and building it up and then I'll come back for the detailing so having achieved the required level of lumpiness, um, I then cured for uh, 60 seconds and now we're ready to go in and do some detailing. And all I've done for this is I've taken Esmaldius de Kelly stamping polish in Naomi and slackened it off with just a little bit of regular nail polish remover um, just to it has this effect of kind of separating it out so it kind of looks like gory kind of bits of blood um, I just think it, it looks a bit better than just a smooth colour and all I've done is I've just got my detailer brush and just be very careful just like when you were doing the lumpy brains less is more and I'm just kind of feathering it in to those channels that have been created now in the nail where I've been following the line of the stamp and basically all I'm doing is I'm just dabbing it in and even when your brush gets quite dry it can be useful for just kind of stippling around the edges where you just want like a little bit of shade and then when you go in for your fresh just go to a completely different area on the nail because you don't want it to be kind of all kind of full full coverage if you know what I mean and basically just go around all of the bits and if you make any mistakes like that don't worry, you can work it into the design nine times out of ten. Anyway, I really need to concentrate on this, so I'm going to do the rest off camera and then we'll come back for the stamping of the rest of the nails. So I've achieved the amount of lumpiness that I wanted and I've filled in all of the channels between the lumps and the great thing about having used the grate underneath is if a little bit of it is still showing through, it totally fits in with that kind of like brainy texture and, and colour um, and as you can see that I've just dragged when the brush was nearly dry a few points across the top like I did on here as well just to give it a bit more dimension. So now we're going to stamp and this is easy peasy um, again a small dose to Kelly I'm using um, Pinguino as well as Naomi um, for the pinky I'm just going for this hands image here and this play is is okay actually um, it does pick up um, with my jelly stamper fairly reliably although as as always big blue is just unrivaled in terms of the ability to get any image to pick up so sorry I'm going off camera I'm in a bit of a um, bit of a rush today because it is my birthday and I'm going out to a party and um, truth be told I should have really got started on this um, earlier but um, we've had visitors so uh, yeah we're just gonna go for the middle finger now or the sweary finger as I like to call it and forgive me if I go off screen a little bit when I'm placing this 
like I said, I am in a bit of a hurry right now. And um, this stamper kind of refracts the image a little bit, making it very, very difficult to see exactly where I'm putting it on the nail. And just carefully rolling off. Yay! And standard thing. Just go around the edges, breaking the seal so that you don't top coat in any of the mess when you come to your top coat. Just any little loose areas at the side, just press them down so that you don't lose any of your image. Okay, so now we come to the pointer finger and this one's gonna have two color stamping on it. As you can see on this hand, I've got this gruesome, bloody, and it looks like dry, crusty blood as well because rather than using a bright red, I'm using this maroon color. And I'm gonna be double stamping this. So let's do the first image and then we'll move on to the thumb and then we can come back to do the second image so there's my uh, bloody fingerprint and now if we just go on to the thumb where I've got this zombie dude and then I'll be having the words walking dead if you can see it there so black for him so I really do need to see exactly where I'm putting him on the nail he needs to go like right down the end of the nail and there he is so and there he is looking a bit scary and let's go back to my pointer finger where I'm going to use the he wants me for my brains. I'm so relieved that it, it picks up pretty well. And as you can see, I've got that up the top because I didn't want to like kind of cut in to the fingerprint image. I wanted it to be like kind of recognizable as a fingerprint. Yeah, I must say I'm glad that the images pick up pretty much okay on this because the Uber Chic plates are quite expensive. So it would be a real shame if I couldn't use the ideal stamper on it because the etch was too shallow as I've had with a couple of the brands. So I'll just put my uh, walking right up at, at the top of the nail. And then let's get my uh, dead on. And then I will be top coating twice. And then coming back with a flash of the finished look. Ah, there it is. So let's uh, get this top coated and I'll be right back. And the finished look, all cured up with two coats on all of the fingers, even this one. Um, and just individually, we've got the dismembered hands, brains, zombie, bloody fingerprints, and ooh, if I can get it the right way around, my walking dead zombie thumbs. Hope you enjoyed this look and thanks for watching. <laughs>